Jessica, thanks for joining us. You guys look like you uh, went ahead and dressed together today. <laughs> hey, man, it's, 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 a, it's a big time for us. We want to make sure we look our best. <laughs> you look great. Thanks for joining us. And we're going to start out with some questions while um, Jared Lloyd and then Jay Drew. Guys, both of you got to answer this. What was it like hearing the news from Tom and, and about Kalani getting the, the contract extension? It was exciting, man. We all jumping up and down after practice. Super excited, super happy for Kalani. You know, I think he's earned it with all the work he's put in here and, and all that he stands for for us as players and, and as the University of BYU. So we're just super excited, super happy for him. Yeah, it, it was uh, it was pretty dope uh, just to hear that. And then for the the entire staff that Kalani brings with them uh, coming here, the part of that BYU that he brings, uh, it's something that we all enjoy and we're excited for in the long term. Yeah, ahead, question Jay. for either of you guys. What what were the reaction of the staff guys who uh, this probably affects as, almost as much as Kalani? What was their reaction as far as you guys could tell? I'd say they're just as excited as we were as players. I mean, it benefits them and, and affects them just as much as it does us. Um, and so we're happy to have everyone else around, you know, with Kalani. Um, it's been a full team and staff effort to the point that we've gotten to now. So it's just fun to see the people you've been working with for so long, you know, have that guarantee to be around for, for a little longer. Yeah, for me, uh, just coming in this season, I, I wasn't a part of the coaching changes that happened just from the past season to this year. But uh, the staff that we have here, just the, the in total team environment that we've had this year, I think uh, has been uh, something I've really enjoyed and to be a part of. I think uh, Everybody just wants to keep it going, and we're glad it's going. <laughs> Let's have questions now from Alex and then Mitch. Hi, Jaron. Hi, Puka. Good uh, afternoon now oh. it is. Um, no. Yeah, I woke up really late, so it's still like morning for me. But anyway, um, you know, b before this extension was announced today, there was some news that, you know, Kalani had talked to, potentially talked to other schools. There was all this other movement in college football happening with coaches and all the speculation. How much did you guys kind of pay attention to that recently? And how much did you want it to kind of not really involve Kalani? Like how concerned were you that possibly Kalani would leave and how relieved were you when you guys heard um, that he wouldn't be? You on this one? <laughs> um, I don't think it was uh, I mean, college football is one of the craziest things out there. That's what the, that what brings so much excitement to it. And uh, we're lucky to be a part of that. But um, Kalani, we, we show up to practice into the facility and we got finals coming up. So as much as there was a lot of stuff going on, uh, it was never a concern for us in the locker room of knowing uh, this is the season that we've had and uh, our coach is still up here on the third floor and uh, still coming to practice with us. And we love that guy. So it's been, uh, I, I wouldn't say it was a distraction for us, but it's been uh, pure enjoyment ever since uh, uh, hearing the good news. I did everything you said. Guys, you, you both have the opportunity to, uh, you know, play eventually in the big 12 conference. You're both sophomores. So what do you feel like this, uh, commitment that uh, BYU is showing to Kalani and the football program can do uh, for you, the players and, and the team going forward into that big 12 future? I think, uh, you know, right away in my mind, it just shows a lot of confidence that they have in us as a team, as a, a you know, the coaches and players and kind of what we've been able to do up to this point. Um, it shows that there's a lot of support, you know, and in, in the hard work we've been putting in and, and the results we've received. So, you know, moving into the Big 12 and, and making that transition is very helpful and it's it's very comforting and it builds a lot of confidence, I think, in us. And I'm sure, you know, the recruits to see what's going on. Um, and so I think it just brings, you know, a lot of excitement, a lot of energy into the, the future of this program for the players and, and the coaches. Yeah, I think that the confidence and the consistency of, yeah, like you said, uh, we got a couple more years until we're in the Big 12. But, um, it kind of, I mean, it started... Uh, Coach Kalani has been here a while, but that 2020 season, and it's just been building from there. And uh, it's something that you got to, we we plan to build that. We want to build a dynasty here, and that's Coach Kalani's plan. So it started, it started at the beginning of this season, and uh, it's going to continue out. Okay, up next we'll have questions from Jake and then Jared. Yeah, both of you guys, Mitch just mentioned, both of you guys are sophomores. You guys are both draft eligible. I know that, Jaron, you've had people asking you about your future as a player. Puka, I'm sure there are people asking you the same thing. How does this new deal for Kalani affect your guys' decision one way or the other, if at all? 
Hey, man, I think it just it just has a lot of excitement in the fact that whatever we do or choose to do, you know, Kalani will be here. You know what I mean? Um, I think Kalani's a guy who he forms relationships with us. So regardless if you stay or if you go on to the to the pros and still be a part of your life, still have that influence. Um, and I think that that's a very comforting thing to know. We'll always have him in our corner. Um, so that's kind of kind of my thoughts on that. Yeah, I, mean, I don't have much to comment on that one either. <laughs> As you guys are aware of kind of the market out there and, you know, just the, the coach, we, we touched on it earlier about the, you know, some of the contracts and Puka, you mentioned the craziness that goes on with coaches moving places. BYU is a unique place in a lot of regards, including in that one, hearing this news and, and kind of this commitment that's BYU is making in that arena. What does that mean to you just as far as how they're approaching, you know, kind of the market value of a coach and the coaching staff like Kalani's? I think, yeah, I think it's big time I, for us. Like, uh, you see some of the, I, I'm don't, I, I mean, I guess somebody's going to fact check me, but, uh, I remember seeing a, an ESPN, um, not an article, but a stat come out of the coaches who've had the most wins in the past two seasons. And uh, I believe the names were Nick Saban and coach Kalani Sataki. So I think, uh, we're blessed to have that, have him and the commitment that BYU has to him and then the commitment that he has to us and that we've had to him the, throughout the years of him being here and then especially this season that we've had. So it's it's fun. It's going to be a blast. And it's just, as we've mentioned before, just the confidence boost of having the, knowing that the same guy is going to be leading and the message is changing from what it was from last week to what it was this week when he signed a, a new deal. But uh, we're just going to show have more confidence and consistency throughout this time here. Okay, we'll take questions from Sean and Alex. Yeah, guys, this is probably a little bit of a follow-up from the last two here, but, I mean, technically you guys do still have a bowl game next week that you got to get ready for. I guess that's what we were originally supposed to come here for, and then Kalani kind of hijacked that, so thanks, Kalani. Uh, but, well deserved, well deserved. Yeah, well deserved, right? <laughs> Uh, but, but what, what does news like this kind of, does news like this kind of help you guys to be able to, to refocus and go, Hey, let's go out and let's finish the season strong, try to get that 11th win, focus on UAB, going to Shreveport, all, all that. Does, does it help you guys in, in that aspect, I guess? Uh, I mean, it gives you a lot more energy in the building, obviously, but for us, I feel like it's, it won't affect us as much because that's how we've been approaching it since we found out we were going to Shreveport. Kalani is He's done a great job. He hasn't even mentioned anything going on because he's kept so much focus on this game because that's just the type of man he is, is, is investing everything he has in us as players and making sure he prepares us to play the best we can. So regardless of all that's been going on in the media, uh, surrounding all you know, the talk about him and what could potentially happen, every day has been the same thing when he you know, approaches the team. It's just focusing on this game, realizing it's the most important bowl game we've ever played because it's the one that we have next. Um, so just he's been pumping energy into us and, and the coach has been, done a great job of, of you know, continually harping on the importance of this this next game. And I think his players have done a good job of taking that and, and running with it. So I think the energy will stay the same, you know, because that's that's how we've been talking about it, you know, over the past couple of weeks. Yeah, that's my QB. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> Alex, did you have a follow-up question? Uh, enjoy the, uh, the quiet. Actually, no. What, what I have to ask, I'll ask uh, offline. Okay. All right. Um, I think that's it, guys. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate your time today. Appreciate yes, sir. Go Cougs, baby. Kalani for president. Kalani for president. Yep.